Welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Abel, and so are you. I have another Klein product here that I'm a fan of. It's relatively new. Um, take a look at the package here. Our part number is 32900. 7-in-1 impact flip socket set with handle. So here, you're going to have uh, six integrated hex sizes plus bit holder feature. So these bits are going to be flippable. And you can put bits on the end of um, this nut. Uh, it's a three-in-one flip socket. So this, um, I shouldn't say nut, I should say um, socket, sorry, uh, with your magnetic tip as well and here's going to be some of your sizes here impact rated so it can go in your impact drill color coded five inch on the handle and so this is kind of what it's the back looks like your shaft and sockets can also be used with an impact driver. Detachable sockets allow for easy removal to all metal shavings from magnet. Because you'll get you'll get somewhat of a buildup of shavings in there from time to time, and you can pull that off. That's what Malco has pretty much made a name for being able to clean the shavings out of there. Your Malco bit is flippable. So here's your, some of your sheet metal screws that can be used. You know, this is probably geared toward HVAC and your electricians. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a closer look at this. Here, instead of, uh, you do have your collar here for adjusting the length. And it's going to be a quarter inch there, hex. But you can put anything in there. Um, here, you have that dovetail concept that I was, some of you guys have heard me say, to keep the handle from sliding. Amazing grip, rubber. It's your Klein. Uh, logo there, your branding for that, and there's your warnings, part number, seal, seven and one. Again, I really wish they would sink that in just a little more so that it can't be rubbed off. This is a robust tool, big tool. There's your adjustable ring. These will roll. <laughs> you guys know about that. They will roll. Um, and here's your shaft here. And it's letting you know that you can put your Phillips bits in here and slot it. Here's some ridges. There's a ball bearing for locking. This here. It's going to be your magnet, and this is impact rated. Nice. So let's try to. Here's your sockets, flippable. Got your quarter inch, five sixteen, and they're color coded. And this is like this, so that you can put. Uh, your uh, Phillips and slot it in there or any other bit, Robinson. Eleven thirty seconds, three eighths. Seven sixteen, half inch. That's what it's gonna look like. So let's try to put this together. That locks 
saying? And then you could use it like that, but for storage purposes, you know, you wanna keep them all in there. So that's what it's gonna look like all together. And then you put that in there. And that's the tool right here. That's the whole tool together. Yeah, you guys a really good look at this. quality that's quality right there so a lot of you guys have seen me or others put this in here let's see if I can do this there so now you're impact ready this is going to be your Milwaukee fuel. And so now, I don't know if that's hurting you guys' ears, so I won't turn that on anymore. But now you're impact ready. And then you say, well, if I'm going to use it like this, what am I going to do with this? Well, you can go get you an impact rated or not. Extended bit holder. This has a locking collar on it. And so now I can put anything on the end of this that I want, whether it's nut drivers, uh, Phillips, slotted, Robinson, security bits whatever i want to put on the end of this i you know i can do that with the handheld because trust me you don't want to put a security bit on on the end of this <laughs> you know you're going to tear it up so this is just i'm just showing you some versatility um with that um and so let's see if i can get this out and so, I just wanted to show you guys the versatility a little bit there. Um, but this is the tool. Take these out of the way. So, I hope that uh, you guys were able to get a good look at it and uh, make a decision on whether you want to purchase it. About 30 bucks at Home Depot. Not bad. They do sell these by themselves uh, for about 25, 23, sometimes even low as 20 bucks just for this shaft and these uh, sockets. Uh, so if you don't need the handle, uh, but why not, you know, get the handle for an extra 10 bucks and you can do something else with the handle. So with that being said, I want to thank you for stopping by. And please remember to thumbs up.